Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making a little axolotl. We're going to be using the super bulky size 6 yarn and it says to use an 8mm crochet hook but I am going to be using a 6.5 and the color that I'm using is called tan pink. So let's get right into this. What you'll be needing for today's tutorial is super bulky size 6 yarn, a 6.5mm crochet hook, stitch marker, polyester fiber fill, 10mm safety eyes, a darning needle, and a black acrylic yarn for the smile. So first off, you're going to want to make a magic ring. And I know that doing it with this yarn doesn't always work the greatest. So I've seen this sort of thing where you take um, acrylic yarn and then use that for your magic ring. There was my yarn. So I'm gonna try it like this. So we're just going to have a loop around and then we're going to start working into our loop here. And we'll see how well this works. So we're just gonna chain around it. And you might want to use a longer piece, but this is for my scrap yarn, so I just wanted to see if I could use it up. So we're going to make six single crochets into our ring. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. And then what we're going to do is pull it closed, which that actually works very well. I am not, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> okay. And now, so we're starting with the legs. I probably didn't mention that. It's going to be a little harder using this yarn um, than other yarn types just to see your stitches, but after you do it for a while, you'll get used to it. We're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made to complete our round, and we should have six stitches all the way around. And then what we're going to do is we're going to increase around. So what you can do is chain one to start this round, but I don't like how every single time you have a chain one, like you can notice it in the end. I like working in continuous rounds better, but you can, if you don't mind that, then you can go ahead and chain one at the beginning, but I am not going to do that. So we're going to increase in every single stitch around. And I will be using a stitch marker just to keep track of everything and so you guys can also see what I'm doing a bit better. So we're going to be making two single crochets in each stitch around. And then so and then this should take us from six single crochets all the way up to 12. can slip stitch back into our first one which will also leave a little bit of a mark so just be aware of that so for the next four rounds we're just going to be single crocheting around keeping our same number of 12 stitches it's going to be a little bit difficult again trying to see all the stitches but just try and make sure that you keep the same number so yeah So we're going to do four rounds just like this, single crocheting around and keeping our same number. So 
So that's the first round. And I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the next three off camera. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done four, my four rounds of single crochets and I think I want it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one round of single crochets. Three. And now we're going to finish this leg off. We're going to make um, two slip stitches to make it level and not leave kind of a drop, if that makes sense. And then we're going to fasten off. And pull that in. So then our first leg is done. So you're going to go ahead and make another one exactly like this, but don't make the two slip stitches and fasten off. Just stop after you've made your five rounds of single crochet, and then I'll show you what to do next. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick, and then I'll be back to show you guys what to do next. Okay. And now I have both of the legs here. So our next step is to chain four, And then you can join it anywhere that you want. I don't think I want to join it right at the end. Or maybe I do. I'm going to join it into the last stitch right here, or the stitch right after I fastened off. And I'm going to single crochet to join it. And then we're going to single crochet around the leg. This is going to be the beginning of our rounds now, right where we attach the chain to the leg. So we're going to go ahead and make our 12 single crochet around this leg. And then you want to make sure that your chains are all facing the right way. This mine's been dangling around a lot, so you're going to pick the one side that you want to work on and you're going to or you're going to work on the front side, the front loops, if you know what I mean. Um, a crochet chain has three loops, I'm not sure if you can kind of see the braid here, and you're going to work in the front loop and not any of the other ones, just the front one. So that's two. And three. Three and our next one is right here. Four. And then we're going to single crochet right into the next other little one, and we're going to make our 12 single crochet around this leg as well. 12. And then we get back to our chain. And then we're going to work on the opposite side. You can kind of see them here. There's one, two, three, and four. And we're going to be working in the front loops of the chain. It's one, two, three, and four is, I believe, right here. Sometimes you kind of have to guess a little bit, which is all right. And then we're going to single crochet back into our joining single crochet, which was right here. And that is the end of this round. So if you're gonna be putting a stitch marker in from here on out, you'll be putting it right in that single crochet. So this is what we have so far. For our next round, we're going to be doing a couple increases to help shape our axolotl the way we want. So I'm going to start by making a couple single crochets so that I can add my stitch marker in right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet all around this leg and one on the chain three so that we get to kind of the center of this spot right here and that is where we're going to be making a couple 
increases to make sure that the body turns out in the right shape that we want it. And once you have made it all the way around the leg, um, we have our four here. So we're going to make the two center ones increases. So here we're going to make a single crochet. We're going to increase in the next one. And then increase in this one as well. And then we are going to continue single crocheting around the next leg. And then once you get to the chain section on the other side, we're going to be making one increase on one of the back stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose the second single crochet on the middle portion and I'm going to make my increase in that one and we're just going to do one increase on the back. So in this round you should have gained three stitches from the stitch count that you had in the last round. And now we're going to go ahead and start our rounds of single crochets. Always making sure to mark the beginning of each round. And like I said, I'm not going to be slip stitching any of the rounds together because I don't like the look of the single cr of the slip stitch incorporated into my my amigurumi or whatever you want to call this. I don't like the way it looks, really. Well, I just don't like the fact that I can see it. <laughs> so I'm just going to be leaving that out again and just working in continuous rounds. But it is completely up to you and you can choose to do whatever works best for you. And we're gonna just start by making at least four rounds of just single crochets. No increases, no decreases, and then we will, then I'll come back and we'll see how it looks. And I'll show you guys what to do next. Okay, I've done four rounds of single crochets now, and this is what I have so far. So I'm going to go ahead and add three more rows of just single crochets. On top of that, just keeping, again, the same number of stitches with no increases and no decreases. I'm going to make three more rounds of just single crochets. So I'm going to finish that and then I'll be right back. Okay, now that we've completed those seven rounds of single crochet in total, our next round, we're going to do three decreases to get it back to the original width and to start tapering off at the top. So we're going to start by making a single crochet so that we can mark the beginning of our round and then we're going to single crochet all the way over just to the side. It doesn't have to be a specific count of stitches, but just make sure that your first decrease is kind of above the leg here on the side, like that. And then we're going to single crochet our way over to the other side and make our second decrease over above the leg on that side. And now I'm going to make my second decrease right here. And then we're going to continue single crocheting until we reach the center of the back. Okay, 
So, one more. And then right here, we're going to make our last decrease for this round. So we have 32 stitches around. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our way around doing six single crochets and then a decrease. Two. And this should take us from 32 stitches down to 28, so it should decrease us by four stitches. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and then our decrease. Through here, through here. And then we're going to do that three more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and decrease. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to do a round of just single crochets, keeping our number of 28 stitches in our round. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this round of single crochets, and then I'll be back to show you what to do next. So after you've completed your round with 28 single crochets, we are going to make another three rounds of single crochets, keeping the same number of stitches in this round. And just to add more length to the body. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the next three rounds of single crochets. And then I will be right back when we are ready to continue our decreasing. And then after you finish these next couple rounds, we're going to start stuffing the body of our axolotl. So you're going to go ahead and grab your polyester fiber fill, and then we're going to start stuffing the body. We're going to start by going down into the legs, of course and try and distribute the stuffing as evenly as you can. And then from here, we're going to continue decreasing. Our next round is going to be five single crochet, followed by a decrease. And that is what we're going to be repeating for this round. So that's two, three, four, five, and then our decrease. And this round, if you repeat this all the way around, it should take you from 28 stitches down to 24 stitches. So again, one, two, three, four, five, and then a decrease. And then for our next round, we are going to be making another round of decreases with another repeat. But for this round, it's going to be five, sorry. For this round, it's going to be four single crochets followed by a decrease and this should get you down to 20 stitches in this round. So that's two, three, four, and our decrease. Again, one, two, three, four, 
and a decrease. What we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch two, two times, make them nice and loose so that you can work into them later, and then we're going to fasten off and cut our yarn. Okay, so for the head, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the um, the magic ring idea that we did with the acrylic yarn. So we're going to make 10 single crochets in a magic ring. You can choose to use, again, the fluffy yarn if you want to, but I think it looks it works better if you use acrylic. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and once you have made your ten single crochets, we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the first one. And then we're going to go ahead and make an increase in every single stitch around to increase our stitch count from 10 single crochets to 20. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, increase to get us to 20 stitches in a round. Our next repeat is going to be one single crochet followed by an increase in the next stitch. So again, one single crochet in the first stitch and then an increase in the second stitch. And this should get us from 20 stitches around to 30, just alternating in every other, an increase or just one single crochet. Okay, and then for our next round, our next increase is going to be two single crochets. Let me just put this in here followed by an increase in the third stitch. Again, two single crochets, and then an increase. And this should get our stitch count from 30 up to 40 in a round. One way to keep your magic ring closed as tight as possible is to pull it as tight as possible and then knot it. And that is how I'm going to be keeping the top closed. And then it should not be able to open up. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this round and then I'll be right back. So for the next five rounds, we're just going to be single crocheting around and keeping the same count of 40 stitches in a round. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish the next five rounds and then I will be back here 
and we will begin decreasing. Okay, so I've completed all of the five rounds and I realized that it didn't build up quite as fast as I thought it was going to. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another um, two rounds of single crochets. So altogether you're going to have seven rounds of single crochets. I'm sorry about that. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish um, the next two rounds and then we will start our decreasing. All right, and now that we've finished our seven total rounds of single crochets, our next round we are going to start decreasing. So we're going to have our repeat as making two single crochets followed by a decrease. Again, two single crochets followed by a decrease. And this should take us from 40 stitches back down to 30 stitches. Okay, and then for our next round, our decrease or our repeat is going to be one single crochet followed by a decrease. And this should take us from 30 stitches down to 20 stitches. So again, just one single crochet and one decrease. And after this round, we should have the same number of stitches around the top of the neck as we do around the bottom of the head, or the top of the body, I mean. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, slip stitch twice again for an even fastening off. And we can leave a long um, long piece of yarn attached to this so that we can sew it on later without having to attach the yarn. So this is what you should have so far. And at this point we're going to go ahead and put the eyes on. So for all of my projects I just got this big case of safety eyes. You can get it off Amazon. It's a thousand pieces and for only like 20 some dollars I think. And I'm just going to see if I can find any that are a good size. I wanted to use colored ones for this project, but as you can see, they are, they are way too small. But I am running out of these large ones, so I'm going to have to get some more of them soon. I think these will be the perfect size. I think these are 10 millimeter safety eyes. And if you have never worked with safety eyes before, they come with these bags. So pretty much what you got to do is you got to find the placement on the head, and I'm going to have this in the back as I usually do just in case it shows a little bit, and then we place the eye on, and then you want to place the back on and just push it. Sometimes they are a little bit tricky to get on, but that's kind of the point so they don't come off easily. Sorry, I guess you guys can't really see what I'm doing, can you? And we're just going to shove it on as best we can without breaking the nail. There we go. Kind of like that. And then if you want to make it extra safe, you go ahead and melt this end with a lighter. So I'm going to be putting it in between rows 8 and 9. So we're going to go ahead and attach the head to the body at this point. You're going to want to not finish stuffing the body until we have the head almost connected so that we don't get too much stuffing peeking out at the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stuff the head a little bit. You don't want to stuff the head the whole way because that can get in the way when we're trying to sew everything on. And 
And then you're going to need a darning needle, and I'm using this big blue one because it works really well for this thick yarn. Or if you just have a smaller one, you can even sew it on with like thinner yarn if you choose to do that. And I'm going to have this fastening off point on both ends on the back of the body. So what you're going to want to do then it looks a little flat right now, but it'll look better once you finish stuffing it. Is you're gonna want to make sure that the eyes are facing forwards. And one way to do that is to take a stitch marker and make sure that the eyes are facing forwards so that you get the head on straight. You can put it in at multiple places, but I think one place will be enough for me. And then we're going to go ahead and just start sewing it on. trying to align the stitches properly and you want to wait until you have a small space left over you want to make sure that it's tightly because you don't want any loose stitches and then from here we're going to finish stuffing the body and the head I should have probably done it before I did that last stitch but it's too late for that now And you can go ahead and move it around and just make sure that there aren't any places that are well, just making sure that it's spread evenly throughout the body and the head. And then we're going to go ahead and step this up into the head. Get it as round as we can. See how we're looking here. Oh yes, just like looks a little bit angry. <laughs> I think I'll do a little bit more yet. I have a lot of stuff. So now you're gonna finish quickly sewing the head onto the body. Just a couple more stitches. And then what we can do is go through one of the stitches that we did previously and make a small knot to hold it on. You can do it a couple times if you want, but I think this will be enough. And then go back down through the body to hide the end, just like that. And then you can cut it off. And that's what we have so far.